Oh, Herbert, I have the most marvy idea how to do my hair. I'm going to wear the Meg Payton wig. I mean the real, actual wig. Oh, I saw a picture of it, and it's, it's just absolutely fabulous. She was supposed to be a witch, you know. And there was this rumor that she made the wig out of her own victim's hairs. I mean, she just stood there and pulled them out of their heads, one strand by one strand. I look bleak. I'm an easygoing man. I tolerate oddballs. They amuse me, but not when they keep harping on the same bad joke. Sheila DeVore is a 38-year-old has-been. She was finished at 32. My heart bleeds for her, but that's life. This part calls for a 25-year-old fresh redhead. Not Miss Dimple Darling of 1945. Changed a thing. Isn't it beautiful? <gasps> Herbert, it's here. The way. Meg Payton's very own. All the way from the museum in London. Oh, Herbert, it's Beautiful. <laughs> well, it's just... It's just breathtaking. Well, when I told Mr. Quink you had your heart set on it, he said, buy it for Bleak. <laughs> he hardly objected at all when I gave him the bill. Uh, well, I just have never seen anything so... so breathtaking. Oh, I just have to try it on. Good. I I'd better go and see what's keeping your makeup on. Right. Fellas, hold it a minute, will you, please? Miss DeVore is on her way to the set. She'll be here any moment. Now, you all realize that this is Miss DeVore's first picture in several years. While we're all very happy to have her back, we must realize how difficult it is to get back into the routine after such a long hiatus. Therefore, I ask your complete understanding and cooperation. Oh, Blake Boy is on her way to the set. How does she look? Well, I, I, I don't know. What do you mean you don't know? Didn't the now makeup help? Know well, the makeup man hadn't come when I left. Several years. I just phoned. She's on her way over here now. Well, what I mean is, she has been ill for a long time. And when a person has been ill, naturally a person is bound to change. Wonderful to be back again. Arabella, darling. Sheila. <laughs> <laughs> Sheila DeVore. I don't believe it. What's the matter, Arabella? Is my slip showing? Darling, you look positively. Well... I didn't remember you having such a flair for clothes. But of course not, darling. You were always looking for dirt. <laughs> You've changed, Sheila, in more ways than one. Everyone has noticed. Really? Mm-hmm. Everyone. And especially the hair. That must be the wig Max had brought over for the picture. Uh -huh. mm -hmm. People are beginning to wonder why you're never seen without it. Darling, don't you think you're overdoing it a bit? I mean, actually living in your makeup? That sort of nonsense went out with Theodore Barra. Herbert? Please show Miss Foot out. What's this, temperament? Why, I always remember the Dimple Darling girl as a perfect angel. Herbert, if you don't get this female mutt out of here, I'll rip her to shreds. I have to check the mail room, Miss Foot. I'll walk you to your car. You shouldn't be nasty to me, Sheila. You might live to regret it. I'll die waiting. You know something? as exciting now as you were in the old days. You really missed your little Sheila? What do you think? Hmm? Max. Hmm? Do you know something? 
You never once answered any of my phone calls and you never came to visit me. Oh, what about the uh, roses I sent you every week? And the notes. <laughs> oh, Max. You know, if it hadn't been for those roses, I would have sworn you'd forgotten all about little me. <laughs> Not me. Uh, Max, darling, please be careful. You're mussing my hair. <laughs> you mean that wig? Ah, oh, come on, honey, take it off. Why, Max? Take it off. You don't need it. You really want me to? Yes, I really want you to. You sure? I'm positive. Absolutely positive? Absolutely. I want to see my Sheila as she really is. All righty. just marvy the way everything's turned out. Life is just full of the most pleasant surprises, my darling. <laughs> you know something? What? I have another surprise for you. Oh? Give Sheila a kiss. Gladly. Installment. You know who I am? Yes, yes. Put the movie count. Oh, you're a bright girl. How'd you like to make $50? All you have to do for it is step outside the moment Mr. Vore comes in. Oh, don't worry. You won't get into trouble. All I want is a private interview with her. Well, if you say so, Miss Vore. It wasn't exactly a rumor, Sheila. These are facts, darling, documented by one of the most reputable museums in the world. 
And what does that letter that you stole from Herbert say, Arabella? It says that mysterious wig of yours is the product of medieval witchcraft. And that it has dark and demonic powers. <laughs> you don't believe a cock and bull story like that, do you, Arabella? Ordinarily, I wouldn't. But when you stop to consider, a frowsy old bag puts on the wig. And overnight, mind you, becomes a ravishing beauty. The head of the richest studio in town drowns accidentally. A director with the biggest smash in the country dives off his balcony and turns himself into a puddle of blood. Put them all together and they spell... What, Arabella? What do they spell? I don't know. Yet. But now you want to find out. Don't you think your fans are entitled to know all about their glamour girl? You keep away from me, Arabella. There's nothing to be afraid of. That story can't possibly be true. I only want you to prove it. Take off the wig, Sheila. Now, I'm warning you. Darling, I've been around too long to be threatened by a cheap little... Off it comes, Glamour Girl! Excuse me. 